Hello Flutterlings, welcome back to our Flutter tutorial series. In today's episode, we'll be focusing on Scaffold Widget, a core building block for creating visually appealing and functional Flutter applications. By the end of this video, you will have a deep understanding of how to use Scaffold effectively and in your projects. So let's dive in. Scaffold Basics the scaffold widget provides basic structure for material design apps with pre-built elements like app bar, floating action buttons, drawers, and much more. In other words, scaffold is like a canvas that you can customize and add your content to. Let's explore some of the key features of the scaffold widget. Creating a scaffold. To get started with Scaffold, you'll need to import the material.dart package. Let's create new Flutter project and add a Scaffold widget to the main Dart file. As you can see, we've created a Scaffold called My Homepage. Inside the build method, we have returned a Scaffold widget. The Scaffold has an app bar and a body, which holds the main content of our app. Scaffold properties. Now that we've created a basic scaffold, let's dive into some of the most important properties of how they can help you build your app. Number one, app bar. The app bar property allows you to define an app bar widget, which is a material design app bar displayed at the top of the screen. In this example, we have customized our app bar with a background color and action buttons. Number two, body. The body property is where you place the main content of your screen. It can be any widget, but it is often layout widget like column, row, or list view. Here, we have added padding around the body content and created a column with text widget and raised button. Number three, floating action button. The floating action button property allows you to add a floating action button to your scaffold. Floating action buttons are circular and contain an icon or a text. In this example, we have added a floating action button with an add icon and a deep purple background color. Number four, drawer. The drawer property lets you add a navigation drawer to your scaffold. A drawer is a hidden panel that slides out from the side of the screen when activated typically containing navigation links. Here we have added drawer with a header and two navigation items. Number five, bottom navigation bar. The bottom navigation bar property allows you to add a bottom navigation bar to your scaffold. This is useful for providing quick access to top level navigation items. In this example, we have added a bottom navigation bar with two items, home and favorites. Scaffold tips and tricks. Now that we have covered essential properties of Scaffold, let's explore some tips and tricks to help you get the most out of it. Snack Bars Scaffold provides easy way to show snack bars using the Scaffold Messenger.OffContext.Snack Show Snack Bar method as shown in the code below. Safe Area to avoid the content overlapping with system UI elements like the status bar notches, wrap your body content with the safe area widget as shown in the code below. And that's it. You now have a solid understanding of the scaffold in Flutter, along with its essential properties, customization options, and some of the useful tips and tricks. Be sure to experiment with scaffolds in your own projects. And don't forget to consult the official Flutter documentation for the latest updates and features. Thank you for watching this scaffold tutorial. I, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and 
don't forget to subscribe for more flutter content if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below happy coding and see you in the next tutorial